Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I am gonna do an empties video today. So um, this is about two months since I did my last empties video. So about two months worth of products and every time I do these videos, I'm amazed at how much I have here. So especially like mascaras and sponges. Yeah, anyways, there's a ton of stuff to get through. Um, so I'm just gonna go really quick, give little speed reviews on everything, but these are definitely my favorite videos to watch. I love to see what other people use up because you know you bring lots of products into your life all the time, but I think it's the ones you truly love that you use up. So something that I've never talked about in an empties before, but I thought I would throw one in here. Uh, this is the Vital Proteins. This is their bovine uh, collagen peptides. I've been taking some form of collagen for years. So I take collagen every morning. I put a scoop of this in my coffee and I just find that it helps with my skin, hair, nails, joint health, all of those things. So I take this, my husband also takes this. So we do go through these um, pretty quick. Probably every couple of months we go through one of these large tubs and I just get this at my local health food store but use this every day. So I thought it was sort of beauty related because I do you know, use it for skin health and nails and hair and all that. So I thought I would throw that in there. And then just quickly a few bath products. So I always have a Dr. Teal's, oops, that's the back. This is the bubble bath that I use. So I bath at night and I love to have bubbles in my bath and I love it to smell nice. So the Balance and Calm is my favorite. I, I've had more, this is not two months worth of bubble bath, um, but I just kept one because it's kind of a large container. And then the body wash I tried was this one by Neutrogena and it is for acne. So it has a salicylic acid chemical exfoliator in it and I'm prone to ingrown hairs on my legs. So I tried this, it was fine. I didn't notice it improved that. So what I tried um, recently was this one by uh, First Aid Beauty. It's the Bump Eraser KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. I did really like this. This is the mini size and I just blew through it in like maybe a week, week and a half. Um, so I am gonna order the full size one and give that a try and see if that helps with those little bumps on my legs. A product that I use all the time to help with them, just as a body exfoliator and just to help help with the bumps on my legs is any sort of body scrub, but this one by Dove, I've probably had more than this one container in the last two months that I've gone through, but again, I just kept one because it's kind of a large container. It's a great scrub and it's very affordable and just get it at the drugstore, so I like that one as well. And then the oil that I'm using right now, I was using the Neutrogena oil, but I really, really love this one. This is the Bioderma Atoderm, um, I think it's just Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Cleansing Oil. I use this just as a body oil, not necessarily as a cleansing oil. I find it very gentle. I get this off Amazon and it's a huge container. It's 33.8 fluid ounces, so this lasts me quite a while, and I think it's about $20, so a way better value than the Neutrogena one, and I like this one better, so I'm using this. It does have fragrance, though, is the only thing, and the Neutrogena one, you can get fragrance-free. Okay, and then a few hair products I'll go through quick as well. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Strong Finish Hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray. Um, I get it from Sephora. I'm not using this currently because I'm trying a cheaper one from the drugstore, which I'm really, really enjoying actually. And then I tried this eight second Wonder Water from L'Oreal. A lady that I work with actually really recommended this. Um, I found that it made my hair feel just kind of greasy, kind of oily. Um, but it did really work, so it's it's marked on the side and you just use it as a final rinse step in your hair care routine. And it's great at detangling, but I just didn't enjoy how it made my hair feel after. And then this is the Swartz, Swartzkopf Root Retoucher Spray, and I have it in brown. This is really nice, I really like this. I can't find it everywhere, so right now I have the L'Oreal one in the teal packaging, which works really well 
as you know, it works well as well. Uh, <laughs> it works really well also. <laughs> but this one is, is probably my favorite one, but a little bit harder to find. And then I have one of the Olaplex number three hair perfecter. Um, I use this all the time. Once a week I use this in my hair. It just helps to repair the bonds and keep my hair healthy and strong. And then I don't know if this will be everywhere. I picked this up at my local drugstore. It's uh, Theory Sage Marula Seaberry Smoothing Conditioner. This is a beautiful conditioner and it smells so nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, next time I go, I'll grab another one. But I did really, really like this conditioner. But again, I'm not sure if it's just a, a more local thing. Okay, and then for makeup, I have two very dusty e.l.f. sponges that I used up. Um, I find that these just get hard and hard to clean after a while. Um, but this is probably my favorite sponge, although I am recently trying the uh, Shop Miss A AOA sponge and it's about a quarter of the price because they're a little over a dollar and I think these are a little over four um, and I really like that AOA sponge so I'll probably just get those from now on and then I have this one that came in a boxy charm I can't remember what it's called billion dollar maybe is the company but I just I'm getting rid of it because I just don't enjoy it I don't like to use it I think it's the shape and also this texture on the outside, it's kind of velvety feeling and I don't like that. I don't like how it applies my makeup. And then for makeup, I have two of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mists. So I guess I go through about one of these a month, which seems like a lot. And then also for setting sprays, I have this Cover Effects. This is the Illuminating Setting, setting Spray. Both of these setting sprays I always have on hand. These are my two favorites. So I go in first with the illuminating setting spray. I feel like it just gives a nice slight shimmer to the skin. So if you don't like that, you won't, you won't like this product. It definitely gives you a little bit of a shimmer. And then I love the continuous setting mist just to take down the powder and help my makeup kind of melt into my skin. Um, I have this silicone free Priming Moisturizer from Good Molecules. I got this last year in a Lucky Bag and I have repurchased a Lucky Bag again from Beautylish. I wasn't overly impressed with the one last year to be honest so we'll get another one this year and see if it's better but this was one this was my favorite product out of that Lucky Bag. This is actually I can remember a couple of the things I got and this was the standout. Um, I loved this. Um, it's just a hydrating priming moisturizer, just what it says. It very much reminds me of the um, Bobbi Brown face base that I love. Not as thick, but just as moisturizing. And then I do have a foundation that I'm gonna throw, throw out. It's not quite finished. There actually looks like there might still be quite a bit in here, but I've had this quite a while and it is starting to smell. I feel like when makeup starts to turn, it gets that Play-Doh smell. Um, but this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I used this as a foundation and I have it, I believe, in their lightest shade. It was just okay. I found it a little bit mattifying and I prefer to be more dewy than more mattifying because I have very dry skin. So I didn't love this. I did try to use it as much as I could, but I think there's still probably at least a third of the product in there, so, but it's it's off. I've, I've definitely had that a few years, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then a product that I have used up is by CoverGirl. It's the Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. I have it in 520 Fair. I have already repurchased. I love this foundation. It's a very light coverage, um, and it's beautiful. Beautiful. I love it but there are little balls of what I assume are flakes of coconut in here, coconut oil, because it has coconut milk and aloe extract in it. And I've heard other people complain about it as well. I just, you know, flick them off. <laughs> Bert, are you okay? Yeah, so it does have little balls of coconut milk, I'm assuming, or coconut oil in here, which is annoying, but I like this foundation so much that I, I put up with that. And then I have a couple of concealers. The first one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I have it in light ivory. 
and I don't know if you can see, but I've definitely used it up and have repurchased. Love that one. And then because I so love the CoverGirl Clean Fresh foundation, I grabbed the concealer to try and I don't at all like the concealer. I find it just where like it's I put it on and then it's gone. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I put more on and then it's gone. Like it just doesn't last. It doesn't even last through my entire makeup application. So I'm just getting rid of it. I have had it a while. And then I have this uh, concealer from Pretty Vulgar. I don't know if this says what shade it is. I can't see that anywhere. I got this in a boxy charm and it was too dark to use under my eyes but it worked great as a spot concealer and that's how I used it and it is completely used up. Now oh, you probably won't be able to see but I've definitely dug the last little bits out of there. Um, love that. I don't know how it worked under the eyes because it was too dark for my under eyes but and then I have a few uh, mascara products. So the first one I have is this Lash Lashes, Lashes MD. I got this in a FabFitFun box. I didn't use it on my um, lashes as a gross serum because I use the Latisse, which is a prescription um, lash serum, which I have gone through. I'm not repurchasing right now. I'm just gonna see how I go. I've been out of this for about a month and I just wanna see how my natural lashes are because this is expensive, it's about $100. I do get probably five or six months out of it, but I was using that when I received this, and so I didn't use this in my lashes, I used it in my brows, which I think it did say online you could do, and I noticed nothing, no difference, and I used the whole tube up, so if that's any indication. Again, I can't speak to how it works on lashes, but on my brows I noticed no difference. And then I have this ColourPop mascara that is in a purple color. Um, it's not great, I didn't love it. I used it, I think I used it once when I got it and then I used it again in the ColourPop video that I filmed recently. Um, and it's definitely smelling like Play-Doh, so time for it to go, I have had it a while. And then in a BoxyCharm, I got this Laura Mercier mascara, which was so nice, I really liked that. I used it up and it worked great. Um, but it's more high-end pricing and my favorite is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So I've got three of the mascaras and one of the primer. The primer does last probably, I don't know, two, three, four months maybe even. I can't remember if I had a primer in my last video, but the primer lasts longer than the mascara. So I always go in with the primer first. I just find it really helps give me I want big, full, long lashes. That's the look I want. I want it to look like I'm wearing fake lashes without the hassle of wearing fake lashes. So I go in first with the primer and then I go in with the Lash Paradise. Now I will say this, this is my favorite mascara. I continue to repurchase. I have one I'm using now that's almost out and I have another one in backup, but they dry out quick. And the reason they dry out quick is because it is a thick, mascara formula, which is what I want. I don't want something thin and watery because I can't build it up, is how I feel. So I get these knowing that I go through every three three weeks. Do I even get a month out of this? I guess not, but they're eight or nine dollars, so that's not bad. I have a couple of brow products. I used up my Real Her brow pencil. This is probably my favorite brow pencil. I initially got one in a boxy charm and then I've purchased one or two, I can't remember, but it's a beautiful brow pencil, but I do go through them kind of quick. And then I do have this one from Benefit. It is the Precisely My Brow. I think this is in five. Is Oh, this actually in shade four. These are a beautiful, beautiful micro pencil, but you can get the same thing from the drugstore. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. one, which is amazing. I also have the CoverGirl one, which works great. Um, so yeah, it's nice, but I won't repurchase right now. And then from Tarte, I have this Busy Gal Brows. It's just a tinted brow gel, and it has this little tiny brush. Um, I do have another one of these. It's probably my favorite tinted brow gel. Um, it just holds the brows really well and I like the color. I think this is just in, oh, I have it in black brown is the shade I have. I did use up a Bite Beauty lip mask. 
This is maybe more skincare than beauty, but this was a tinted one. It just says agave lip mask. Um, it doesn't say the shade on it, but it was like in a champagne-y color. Um, I bought this probably a year ago. We were down in the States. I'm not sure if you can get these uh, so on the Sephora Canada site, but like in this shade, because it's sort of, I don't know if you can see at the top there. I'll put this down. It was sort of this champagne-y pinky color and I haven't seen it up here anywhere but it was really pretty you could wear it out in the day I used it mostly at night and then I think my last makeup product is an empty Charlotte Tilbury airbrush airbrush flawless finish used it completely up I do go through these kind of quick but it's such a pretty powder um, I try to get them on sale but yeah I use that yeah I use it in one fair and then I had a little mini Tatcha, the silk canvas that I used completely up. I do love this, but I feel like the e.l.f. Pore Putty Primer, I think is what it's called. It's a complete dupe for that, and that's an expensive product. And then I have a few um, brush sponge cleaners. Oh, actually, one more makeup item. This is an e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. I used it up. It wasn't great. I didn't love it. I didn't notice it did anything. It didn't make my skin look dewy or illuminated. Um, it, you know, it was a, a facial mist, so it did take down the powderiness, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase. I didn't love that. And then a few brush cleaners, sponge cleaners. I have three of the e.l.f. ones. These are probably my favorite. They're affordable. They work really well, um, so I do continue to repurchase those. And then from AOA, I did try one of theirs and I didn't care for it at all. So it was very affordable. I think it was a dollar or two, but it just left, I couldn't get all of the soap out of my sponge, no matter how much I rinsed. And I, I felt like it made my brushes feel uh, kind of greasy. Okay, so that's it for makeup products. I actually went through quite a bit of makeup. For uh, skincare products, I received this Skin & Co whipped cleansing cream did i get this in a boxy charm no i think i got this in a fab fit fun really nice i really liked it. it was a gentle cleanser but i typically just get you know very affordable cleansers i i use the cerave and so this is the hydrating cleanser is the one that i use i would say these are actually quite a similar product actually but i think this is twice as much as this for you know, maybe a quarter of the product. So this is the second step in my skincare routine. I use this every single night. And my first step is this, um, the Hymish All Clean Balm. This is my favorite balm cleanser. So I go in first with this and then with this. And these are products that I have repurchased. I have them right now. I use them all the time. They're my staple products. I've been using them for years. And then I received this Farsali Quench. I think this was in a Fab Fit Fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And it's a hyaluronic acid serum. It was nice, um, but I prefer the Hadalabo. And this was expensive compared, you know, to the Hadalabo price. So. And then some products that are always in my empties are the Timeless Vitamin C plus ferulic acid, plus vitamin E serum. I use this every single morning. It's my favorite. I order it online. Um, it's about $25 US. Um, yeah, my that's my favorite vitamin C. I use it every day. Been using it for years. And then some other products that I use every single day. I have a niacinamide from The Ordinary. I use this in the evening. I have an Alpha Arbutin from The Ordinary. I use this every evening. I have a Resveratrol um, from The Ordinary. I use this every morning. This Buffet Plus Copper Peptides is a recent addition to my evening skincare and I have repurchased. I really like that product. And then I have a Rosehip seed oil. This is probably my favorite oil from The Ordinary. So I'll link my AM and PM 
um, skincare routine so you can see why I use these and how I use them. But those are products I use every day as well as this Josie Moran Argan Oil. This is the oil that I use um, in the morning. So I use the rose hip at night and I use this one in the morning and I love that. And then I have a lip balm. Well, it actually says it's a lip oil. This is by, now I had a lady tell me how to say this. I can't remember, is it Kors or Kores? It's the Pure Greek Olive Lip Oil. I love this lip balm. It is so nice and it smells herbally, like eucalyptus almost. So I think I received this initially in a box and I have repurchased and it's in my purse and I love it. And then I have this Pure Heels Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. This is such a funky product. It has a weird smell and it has almost like a slime texture. <laughs> but but I use this at night and what I have been doing actually is putting on all my skincare, my oil, then I do my moisturizer, I let that set for a little bit and then I go in and I put this over top. It's soothing. It just makes my skin feel so nice in the morning. I have repurchased. Um, yeah, and I'm loving this and it's quite a large container. It took me a while to get through it. And then my last empty product is by Ren. And I purchased this in a boxy pop-up and it's their Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. It's so nice. I On days when my skin was irritated, I would go in with this. Um, now they do sell this on Sephora. I haven't repurchased. I have so many lotions to get through, honestly, but this is definitely one I would repurchase. And certainly if I saw this in a boxy pop-up sale again, I would grab one both of these products because I really, really enjoyed them. So that's my empties and that is a couple of months worth of empties. Of course, some of these products I've been working at, you know, like this foundation, I've been working at them for a long time and not everything's completely empty. Unfortunately, I had a few uh, makeup products that just kind of went off. So I'm just going to call it and get rid of them. But most of these are completely used up. Lots of these are repurchased products. The products you would have seen in the last few empties videos actually, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I love watching empties videos and I love making them. So thank you so much for watching. I tried to go quick because it was so many products, but thanks for sticking to the end if you did. I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked the video and you would give it a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would. Um, but I will see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.